Welcome to yet another Getting There series. My name is Clinton Normal. I'm the Associate Vice President for Diversity and Inclusion at H.E. Steele University. I am here with Maurice Dale, who is going to talk about uh, his experiences in getting there. But first, let me tell you a little bit about A.T. Steele University. A.T. Steele University is a comprehensive graduate health sciences institution. We have six schools and more than 24 programs. We have the Kirkshaw College of Osteopathic Medicine. We have the uh, Missouri School of Dentistry and Oral Health. We have the Arizona School of Osteopathic Medicine and the Arizona School of Dentistry and Oral Health. We also have the College of Graduate Health Studies and the Arizona School of Health Sciences. These six schools offer a program that's designed for you to be successful. But how do you get there? Well, let's talk to someone who's done that. Maurice, thank you for taking time out of your day and uh, sharing more about how you've gotten there. So uh, please tell us a little bit uh, about yourself. All right, so I'm originally from East St. Louis, Illinois. Um, I attended undergrad at Illinois State University. Uh, my process to medical school is a very non-traditional route. So while I was an undergrad, I joined the National Guard. Um, I deployed with the National Guard. And then after, graduate, after undergrad, I uh, went and earned a master's degree in biotechnology. Worked for a couple years and then started applying to medical school. Met some uh, alumni of AT Steel in the process and it's pretty much molded my decision to start AT Steel. Okay. So you have come by virtue of life experiences in the military. So that has garnered you some a, a different pathway into medical school. Very most. different pathway, yeah. I was a paralegal in the military, so everyone asks, like, why not law school? And I'm like, I don't have a good answer. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's just good experiences, meeting people, actually to meet other people from other cultures. Um, definitely makes you a more well-rounded person in the process. And so. We often, you and I, we talk about uh, all the time about challenges. You, you know, thank, thankfully, you work in our office in uh, Missouri, but we talk about challenges for uh, people of color, um, predominantly historically underrepresented uh, students getting to medical school. Tell us about one of those challenges that you faced uh, and you overcame in your pursuit to medical school. One huge challenge at first when I was getting ready to start applying and became more interested in medical school was the meeting people that look like you that are actually practicing physicians. So that took a little bit of extra effort on my end to reach out to some doctors that were of color and getting a chance to shadow them, pick their brain on their process to become an osteopathic physician. Right. So I think that was a challenge um, initially when I started applying and, that, and that's kind of what's driven me to want to be a part of the diversity because I want to be able to reach out to some people that are going to be applying and maybe interested in medicine or not really sure, mm -hmm. kind of guide them along and tell them, you know, in personal detail about my process and offer any encouragement, any, any type of help to get them to the point where they want to be at in life. Yeah, and you have become a, 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 a pretty good campus leader. I mean, you're the vice president of the uh, Student National Medical Association on the Kirksville campus, which um, takes a lot of time and a lot of energy. But moreover, you have to do that and still manage the study that's required in order to be successful. As you know, the Kirksville College of Osteopathic Medicine is, is very challenging academically. It requires some intensive training. Very intense. Uh, how do you manage the amount of time and effort you put into the uh, leadership uh, aspect of uh, school and also the academics required? I'll probably say first is knowing why you're in medical school that's number one knowing uh, i'm here not to i would love to make a lot of friends but number one is to become a physician so once you put priority first you got to know like everything you can do other things but you got to make sure you take care of school first that's why you're here that's why we're all in school so you take care of that i've, I've learned a, some different um, mechanisms to handle like what all school has to offer and other extracurricular like cur extracurricular activities from now third years that were second years when I started that were really helpful in seeing that I was successful. So I know part of being an SNMA, there might be some sacrifices I have to make, but I know it helped me a lot having some great SNMA members to reach out to when I was, when the first year was becoming really challenging and mm -hmm. never felt like it was gonna end. So it was yeah. good to have that resource there. And you kind of see like, you look up to these people now that are third and fourth years, so you see what they did. It's good, you know, having an opportunity, having you on the campus and talking with you and you know, picking your brain and sharing things with you goes on like some of the challenges. So it's been good to have an outreach and I think that has made everything kind of fall in line throughout this process. Yeah, and let's talk about the value of uh, others, particularly those who come before you. You know, the, the next class uh, up or the next class behind. 
What is that connection like uh, for you in ATCL University? And how might our students utilize that to be successful in their level of school, whether it's in uh, K-12 or whether it's in um, uh, undergraduate school? So this is my first time at the National Conference. So mm -hmm. at this National Conference, I got to meet some fourth years that are going to be doctors in a very in a few months. They're going to be physicians that are alumni of AT Steel University. So it's good to you know meet those and get pick their brain of some of the things they went through third year and mm -hmm. you know what I can do right to make make sure I'm set up for the ideal residency program going forward. Uh, so I think one thing you got to make sure you reach out. Some, if, if we don't know you and we're busy with you know school, reach out to us. And if we're busy, we're going to get back to you because we want to see you know, improve the diversity. You want to make sure we have a, a, a very warming climate mm -hmm. at the school. So if you can reach out to some of the medical students that are here now or some of the alumni, they can definitely get your got contact with some of the resources mm -hmm. and help you along the way. As, uh, You're absolutely right. Uh, uh, Maurice, thank you so much for thank taking you. time out of your day. We're here live at the SNMA 2018 National Conference. Uh, you being uh, in leadership, helping facilitate the university and in its recruitment efforts at this venue and stepping away from your studies a little while to to do this we really appreciate that i like i appreciate the opportunity to be here so okay. thank you and thank you for joining us at yet another getting there series uh, again we're at at steel university my name is clinton normore as maurice dale suggested you can go to our website www.atsu.edu forward slash diversity and you can find uh contact information for all kinds of folks in our university. Email them to learn more about what the university offers. Explore the web page. Watch more videos like these to learn about challenges that others have done. Uh, people from your similar background experience, how, how they've been successful. You too can achieve that level of success. It's all about discipline. It's all about networks. And it's all about being the light of hope you wish to see in the world. We want to see you on campus someday, but moreover, we want to see you as a practicing doctor, dentist, or any other allied health professional that helps our society move forward. Thanks again for joining, and have a great day.